Here we are guys for another vlog and I'm sorry, the lighting's really bad. Let's turn this way. As you know, I've recently moved in to a new place, which is great. It's great to have a little bit more room. However, my studio is a complete mess and I really need to get it sorted out because I have actually got appointments next week. So I've got about three days to make this studio workable. I've also got to do a fitting room up here around the mirror somewhere, like curtains that hang down, because brides actually have to, have to get changed here. I don't have um, a spare room or another room next to this space where they can get changed. So I have to sort of do it all in the one, um, which is going to be a little bit tricky. So you're going to come with me. We're going to clean this studio up and we're going to make it brand new and shiny. Uh, I have all my gowns in these bags here and I need to reconfigure this space a little bit and vacuum the floor, get everything ready, put um, a rug down. Anyway, you'll see it on the time lapse. come to a standstill and that is because I've realized that this lounge doesn't work in this space um, it was really great in my old space because I could push it up against a wall and there was a you know essentially a back to the lounge it was also a really good space saver but here it just looks really odd plus it's a chaise and even though I can get a back, like a, a, a side arm for it, it's only going to be a part side arm. So I also don't like how it looks in this space. See what I see. Hopefully the light's not too bright. I also don't like these, these armchairs. These were left here when we moved in. I thought I could use them. I thought I could recover them, but they t they're actually a really big floor space um, chair. They actually, you know, bend back this way and the arms sort of flare out a little bit. So they're actually a little bit bulky, too bulky, I think, for my liking. So I'm going to have a look at an alternative to see what I can do. Um, I'm loving the two gown racks here. I think that's really good. And, you know, this, this is not ideal, my fabric samples, but... Um, they need to be somewhere and they're better off being here than in the back of the room. So that's okay. They're blocking a little bit of light, but not too much. I've got to take off all the bubble wrap over the mirror. So this is a bit of a work in progress. I thought I was going to be able to finish it today, but I don't think I will be able to. I also need to add another rack. So I need to buy another rack and put it at the back of the room here. Um, because I've got a lot of gowns in bags and these are basically client gowns. So I don't display any client gowns. I don't show any client gowns. I pretty much keep them bagged up because the client has the right to those. So I'm going to have to order some racks, um, order another rack and figure out what I'm going to do with these chairs and then I'll get back to you. My lounge is just about to arrive. It's eight minutes away. I pretty much spontaneously bought this lounge because I was like, that is exactly what I want in my studio. It's going to give me luxe vibes. It's going to look a bit art deco. It's gorgeous. Anyway, cannot wait. It's here. Can you guess the color I got? Can you guess? Let's open it. Oh my God. It is beautiful. It's so plush. I love the design. It's a little bit 50s, a little bit art deco. Just love it. Can't wait to set up the rest of the space.
Hey guys, this is my studio. It is not finished by all means, but when you walk into the space, the entry, you've got this doll, and then you walk in to the studio space with two large racks full of gowns. We've got coffee table with some books and a nice big lounge. I do have to get a chair for myself at the moment. I use this little stool, but I do want to get a chair either there or this side or both, depending on the size. Um, I've got my fabric samples here, as well as another doll. And I've also got this rack, which I really need to do something with, and I don't know what to do with that. Um, I've got the mirror here, so this is actually for fittings. And what I'm gonna have to do this weekend is fit a fitting room up on the roof. So it's a curtain that rolls over. And then I can have people here in their fitting space. Um, I've also got this storage unit, which separates my office, which is over here to the studio. Um, and these bottom ones are all fabric samples and stuff like that, things that I need in appointments. This is a pretty nice space now, but it is not finished. There's this side of the room, which I need to do something with this rack of gowns at the moment. It's hiding my treadmill um, and all this storage stuff back here. I've got to do something with. I do have a table with a sewing machine and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I want to set that up here. So I have to think about this space a little bit. I might be able to set that up in a different location and do something else with this space. But this is the space, guys. I hoped you like it. It did take me a while. And when I first um, designed the space, I thought my furniture was gonna work and it just didn't. So I went out and, and I actually tried to find a white lounge, um, but I found this one instead and I just fell in love with it. I just love the style of it so much. I bought it from Amart. Um, it's super luxe. It feels really nice when you're sitting in it and it's super soft because it's got that velvet type of material. I love the ribbing in it. I just think it's just gorgeous. Um, and it's really small floor space, so it doesn't take up a lot of room, which is great because a lot of lounges take up a lot of room. And this is um, a three seater. I think it's maybe even three and a half. I'm sure four small people could fit on that. Um, so yeah, really happy with that purchase. Now I just have to find a chair for myself that's going to match. I don't want it in pink. I don't want this to be a big pink room, even though it's kind of turning out that way. Um, I'm thinking maybe a light gray or a white armchair. So we'll see. And I'd like to get a brass coffee table as well. This is just an old one that I had lying around. It does, um, work in this space really well and it's on wheels so whenever i have a fitting i can just sort of wheel it out which is great um this rug here i want to change as well because this is really really small i actually want a rug that pretty much circles this entire space so maybe twice as big and i'm thinking of sort of like a, a gray pattern a light gray pattern just to give the room a little bit of texture because at the moment this flooring is quite flat um the black specks don't really do anything for me but anyways okay it is sunday and we are tackling this fitting room because i need to have this sorted because i've got fittings this week so we come back in we've moved some things around some furniture wise i've just pushed these gowns over this side because that's enough room for us to actually get access and um, they shouldn't get dirty or anything like that there. So they should be fine. Um, if you have a look over this side, there's actually a lot of space and we're actually going to be putting the rail here up on the ceiling and we're going to be coming forward. So fingers crossed guys, this is taking way longer than I thought. We just finished um, the other curtains. We're kind of just doing these jobs all in one hit. We're putting this ceiling rail on with a corner so it's basically going to be like a big l that's the plan fingers crossed we can get this done today don't know if you know this system guys but it's those little clips and then what you have to do is you've got to attach 
this part onto this which is a little bit tricky but I just did it there okay this goes up on the rail in the ceiling this hangs down and then these clips hook onto the curtain and then they close like so and the curtain hangs off this and this top part goes up and down that's what I'm putting together right now let me tell you it is a really crappy job because at first it looks fine but then you realize they actually hurt your fingers we're kind of doing it all ourselves and we are saving a bit of money but man oh man did I not realize how long this would take this has taken us the most part of the day to do the bedroom curtains you'll see that in another vlog but basically we wanted to do those curtains first because we thought if we make a mistake we can hide it in the bedroom whereas here it's on an open ceiling and if we make a mistake it's going to be noticeable so we wanted a bit of practice so we did those curtains first and i am loving them so if you haven't seen my bedroom makeover vlog head over to my channel i'll leave a link in the description um they have really made such a difference to my bedroom makes it look so much more luxurious because the curtains are right up on the ceiling um, it makes the room look so much bigger it's already a nice size bedroom so, winning guys winning so close yet too far to touch tired and worn out I look. These curtains have taken us all day, all day. Welcome guys to my new studio. So you saw me putting up the curtain. This is a whole different day. I've settled into the space a little bit. I'm gonna pull these curtains back. So guys, this is the space and I'm absolutely loving it. I've got so much more room than I used to have and this is gonna be great for fittings. It's gonna be great for consultations, showing people dresses and basically doing my job. So I hope you like this space. I hope you like this makeover. Have you ever considered um, ceiling curtains before that actually mount to the ceiling? I have never done this in any of the houses that I've ever lived in, but I absolutely love it. And that's the only way that I will go moving forward. Um, so it was really handy in this space because I had to actually have a fitting room. So uh, it worked really well here, but you can pretty much use it as a separator if you're in a little studio apartment. Um, you can use it to just cover windows and make the windows look super tall like I did in my bedroom. If you haven't seen that makeover, head over to my channel and you can check it out. But thanks so much for watching this video guys and I hope to see you next time in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and join my community. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.